So we're gonna go for an hour today, guys. Eight, possibly a teeny bit over that, but I'll try to be pretty uh, effective <laughs> at keeping it within that. Okay, so we've got JC and Jen, Shannon. What's that? Sarah, Sarah Carly. Uh, we got someone on iPhone. I don't recognize. We got Shamim. Who's that? <laughs> it's Christy. <laughs> Sorry, like staring as close as I can. <laughs> Nikki, Shamim, Jen. Okay, so we're gonna get started. Um, gonna mute you all. Goodbye. You only get to hear me now. And we're going to record. Oh, I'm recording already. Okay. All right, guys, welcome to the 12 o'clock class. Let's get this party started. Okay, so first thing uh, we're going to do is a warm up. We're going to be going through five movements. We're going to do 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. Okay, and we're going to go through that three times. The first movement is going to be an overhead curtsy lunge. So uh, you're going to need a, a dumbbell or your backpack, something you do. You're going to be holding it overhead, arms locked out, and you're going to be lunging back and sort of round your body into a curtsy. And we're going to be holding that for 30 seconds. Okay. Second movement is going to be a sumo jump sumo squat. So you're going to have your backpack or double dumbbells. We're going to go into a wide stance. Toes are pointing, toes are pointing out. You're going to keep your chest nice and high. You're going to go down into the sumo squat. Put your dumbbells down, jump up, back down into your sumo squat, pick up your dumbbells and jump. So every time you jump, you have your dumbbells in your hands. Okay? Tony's talking. Sorry. What? Okay. So he's just telling me that if you want to grip this way rather than this way, it's totally up to you. Whatever works best, okay? Third movement is a low lunge row, okay? So you're going to be staying in this low position right here. Never move from here. So you're going to lunge back, row, feet together. Lunge back with your opposite leg, row, feet together. Okay, so make sure you keep it your shoulders, or sorry, your elbows nice and tight to your body. You can squeeze in 30 seconds of that. Next movement is going to be a burpee to a squat hold. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Okay, you're going to burpee, chest to the floor. You're going to jump really wide on your feet, right beside your neck. This is where you end your burpee here, back down. Burpee, squat hold. Okay, so you're gonna get that chest nice and high, like that, 30 seconds. Last one is gonna be an alternating uh, dumbbell snatch or whatever you're using. Okay, so we're just gonna keep our chest nice and high, snatch with our right arm, switch, snatch with our left, back and forth for 30 seconds, okay? So five movements, 30 on, 15 off, three times through. That's our warm up, okay? So, where did I put my phone, my interval timer? Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry, I left my phone charging. Ah! Okay. So make sure you've got everything you need close by. After each round, we'll take a tiny bit longer of a break to grab some water, and then we'll get right back into it. Here we go. So 30 seconds on the clock, 15 rest. Going in five seconds, starting with our overhead curtsy lunge. Going in three, two, one, overhead, lunging back. Keep those arms locked out. Really extend that leg behind you and around. Halfway. Okay. 
Good job. Five more seconds. And take a break. Okay, our next one is our sumo, squat sumo, jump thingy. Okay, so we're going in five seconds. Wide stance, toes out. Here we go, squat. Pick up those dumbbells. Good job. Halfway. Five seconds. Good job. Okay. Moving on to our low lunge row. I'm hot again. Okay, getting ready. Here we go. Lunge back, row. Feet together, stay nice and low. Sweep those elbows together. Good job, five seconds. Okay, take a break. We're gonna go into our burpee squat hold. Okay, so no jump. Just landing in that squat, holding it, and then going back down into the burpee. Here we go. 30 seconds. If you're doing modified version, Step back for these are just fine. Make sure you're jumping those hands all the way up, or sorry, jumping your feet all the way to your hands. Okay, last movement. We're gonna go into our alternating snatch. Going in five seconds. And go. some water. We're going to go back into that for our second round. Two, one, break. Okay, next is our low 
one throw. Come set up. Okay, here we go. Lunge back, throw, feet together, stay nice and low. Here we go, 10 more seconds. Next is our burpee. Okay, or either our regular burpee with that squat hold or a step back burpee is fine. And so. Get those feet jumping right inside your hand. Halfway. Three, two, one. Great. Okay, last movement of this round. Alternating dumbbell snatch. Going in. Now. Here we go. Keep going. A little bit longer break after this. Three, two, one, break. Okay, 45 seconds. Grab some water. We're doing that one last time. And then we're gonna move on to our strength component. Okay. Woo. Okay. Okay guys, we're gonna go in 10 seconds. Back to that curtsy lunge. Five seconds. Last time. Here we go. Really exaggerate that movement around to the side. Driving up with that front heel. 10 more seconds. And break. Okay, into our sumo jump. Wide stance, toes out, chest up. Going in three, two, one, here we go. Chest stays up the whole time. We'll hinge forward, squatting down, picking up those dumbbells, squatting down, putting them down. Ten more seconds. One and break. Okay. Low lunge for the row. Going in five.
Getting ready to go, five seconds. And go, Harvey. Jump hold. Go ten. Feet can be beside each other. Five seconds. And break. Last movement. Going into our snatches in 10 seconds. Here we go. Keep going, this is it for your warm up. 15 seconds. Five seconds. And done. Okay. You guys get a little break now while I explain the next part. Okay. Everyone should be nice and warm. I know I am. Go grab some water and get right into these five movements. So, five movements. We're gonna be moving through them together at the exact same time. Okay, so don't worry about remembering them. I'll remind you, in case you have it written down. Okay, um, the first movement, we're gonna be going through it three times. So the first movement is a one and one quarter Bulgarian split squat. You're gonna do eight per side. These can be done with weight in your hands or unweighted. This morning I did it weighted. I might do it unweighted now. Just really can't ex describe how sore I am. I'm gonna have to figure out, I'm gonna have to get some like pretend dumbbells so you guys think I'm using dumbbells but I'm actually just using nothing. Um, okay, so eight per side. You're gonna have your couch, your coffee table, whatever it might be. You might need to put something soft on it so it doesn't uh, hurt the back of your foot. So what we're gonna be doing is eight one and one quarter uh, squats per side. So just down laying down, you don't need to do it. We're going to go all the way down, up a quarter, down a quarter, all the way up. That's one. Okay? All the way down, up a quarter, down a quarter, all the way up. That's two. So we're going to do eight per side. And if you're feeling really fresh and strong, you're going to hold some dumbbells at either side or something at your chest. Okay? Challenge yourself. Second movement we're going to be doing is a hip extension. Now I'm gonna give you two choices here. Personally, I don't really like doing the single leg ones. I'd rather do double the amount and do um, regular hip extension. So here's your choices. You're either gonna do eight per side. So using your bench, your table, whatever it is, or from the ground. You're gonna set yourself up in sort of a bridge position with just your shoulder blades on the bench. Okay, you're gonna do eight per side. You're gonna cross one leg over the other. We're gonna be lowering our butt down, driving up, get up, squeezing here. Okay, so you're gonna do eight on one side. You can have a dumbbell resting on your hip here if you want. Okay, then we're gonna to switch and do eight on the other. I am gonna do a dumbbell here, and I'm gonna do 16 total with both legs on the ground. Just because, I don't know, body mechanically, it just makes more sense for me. So you guys make a choice. It'll take the same amount of time. Just decide if you want to do one side and then the other or all at the same time. Third movement is going to be a frog bridge. Okay, so it's really about your glutes and hips today. So from your hip extension, you're going to go back down onto the floor. You're going to have, have your feet in a frog position, so your, your soles of your feet are together. You're going to lay down, bring those feet as close to your bum as you can, and you're going to drive your feet together, and push your hips up, squeeze, and back down. Okay, so you're going to keep that butt, squeeze, 
cues, everything's tight the whole time, go up and down in the movement. We're going to do that for 15 reps. Okay, so those are the frog bridges. Okay, then we're going to go right into a dumbbell hollow rock flutter kick. So you're going to, you can do this unweighted or weighted. So if you want to do weighted, you're going to have a dumbbell close by. You're going to hold it overhead as such. To bring your feet into that flutter kick position. So I like to start nine degrees and then extend out. Make sure, make sure your belly button is nice and close to the ground. Suck it in. And we're going to go for 30 seconds. The lower your feet are to the ground, the more challenging it is. So if you're dying at 15 seconds, just raise your feet up a little bit and keep going. So 30 seconds of that. And then finally, we're going to do 16 total sprinter sit ups which are a combination of both a V-sit and a bicycle crunch. If you can kind of imagine those two things marrying each other, this is what a sprint is set up is, and it's not very good at me. But this is what we're going to do. So you're going to come up into a V and drive one knee and elbow together and back down. Okay? So it's explosive and then controlled on the way down. If that's not working, you guys can do just regular bicycle crunches. You could do and some alternatives um, sit up of your choice, okay? So those are the five moves we're gonna move through together for three times. Everyone good? Yes, awesome, okay. So first up is all our Bulgarian split squat. As I said, you might want to hold some weights in your arms. I will for my first round, and then I'm not going to. Okay, so starting one leg up behind you. We're going to go down all the way, up a quarter, down a quarter, all the way up. That's one. All the way down, up a quarter, down a quarter, two. All the way down, up a quarter. Down a quarter, three. All the way down, up a quarter, down a quarter, four, that's halfway. Keep going. Up a quarter, down a quarter, five. Up a quarter, down a quarter, six, two more. Seven, last one. I forgot to mention. If you don't have anything to use for your foot, you can do just regular lunges on the ground, one and one quarter lunges. That's totally fine too. Switch your foot that's on the bench or behind you. Here we go. Eight reps. All the way down. Up a quarter. Down a quarter. One. Up a quarter. Down a quarter. Two. Up a quarter. Down a quarter. Three. Up a quarter, down a quarter, four. All the way down, up a quarter, down a quarter, five. Down, up a quarter, down a quarter, six, two more. Seven. And eight, okay. So now, we're going to go into those hip extensions. Now you're either going to do eight per side, or you're going to do 16 total with both feet planted. Your choice. Also your choice if you want to put some weight on those hips. Okay, so get into position. As I said, I'm doing 16 total when you put a dumbbell here. You guys can do eight like this, and then switch. So here we go. All the way down and up. Make sure you're squeezing your butt really tight at the top. Take a pause and then back down. Three, three, two, one, and up. Four, three, two, one, and up. Five, six. Slow on the way down. Seven, squeeze tight. Eight, switch sides if you're doing one side. Nine. Ten, squeeze, squeeze. Eleven, four more. Twelve. 
Okay, lower yourself to the ground. Get rid of that weight. You're gonna lay on your back. Put your feet together. We're gonna do 15 frog bridges. Okay, so bring those feet as close to your butt as you can, pushing your soles together. Let's do this. One. Two, slow on the way down. Three, explosive on the way up. Squeeze the whole time. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Nine. Don't release your butt the whole time. Ten. 11, 12, three more, 13, 14, and 15. Make sure you're breathing, that's important. Okay, next up, we're going into our dumbbell letter kick. So either holding a dumbbell overhead or nothing, that's fine too. I'm going to get 30 seconds on the clock here. I'm going to give you guys a little break after the next last two movements so that you guys can grab some water. So here we go. Get ready in three, two, one. Weight overhead, feet out. Extend those toes nice and stiff in your leg. Kick, kick, kick. Remember, the higher they are, the easier, the lower, the harder. for this second round, if you're going to drop the weight, we're going to get going in about 20 seconds. Whew. There's like no interaction with people asking questions and stuff, so things, I feel like we're just working harder because there's no there's not really any extra breaks aside from the breaks between the, the movement. So I don't know if anyone's feeling the same as me, but oh, I'm finding these workouts really challenging. Uh, they might, yeah, we'll see how it goes. But, um, okay, we're gonna go again in five seconds into our Bulgarian split squats. Your foot elevated, here we go. Three, two, one, halfway up, or quarter up, quarter down, all the way up. Three, two, one, quarter, quarter, up. Three, two, one, quarter up, quarter down, all the way up. Eight total, guys. Four. Five. Six, 
14, 15, and 16. Okay, 45 second rest until we get into our last round of our strength. And then we'll do some conditioning, which in my opinion, feels pretty manageable today because it's broken down into one minute chunks. So it's easy for your brain to kind of accept it rather than 14 minutes of something. So that's to look forward to. All right. So we'll get going again in about 20 seconds for our last round. We're at 12.40 right now, so we're pretty good for time. I think we're, I think we're doing good. All right, let's get set up. Here we go. Get into position. Eight per side. Let's do this. Three, two, one. Up a quarter, down a quarter, all the way up. Up a quarter, down a quarter, all the way up. That's two. Up a quarter, down a quarter, up. Up a quarter, down a quarter, all the way up. Halfway. Five. Six. Seven. Here we go. All the way down. Up a quarter. Down a quarter. Up. Down. Up a quarter. Down a quarter. Up. That's two. Three. Four. Five. Six, two more. Seven. And eight. Okay. Into our hip extensions. Now we're doing eight per side and 16 total. Here we go. Get into position. Remember, glutes stay engaged the whole time. Really think about it. Squeezing them on the way up and on the way down. Here we go. Down and up. One. Two. Three. Four. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Five. Six. Switch legs if you're doing one leg at a time. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Four more. Thirteen. Fourteen. Two more. Fifteen. And 16. Release that. Down onto the floor for our frog bridges. So close, guys. Here we go. Keep together. Bring it close to your butt. 15 reps. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. One. Two. Slow on the way down. Three. Four, five, six, try to relax those shoulders. That is going to be getting them a little bit too high. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 
13, two more, 14, and 15. Good job. No more of those today. Now grab your dumbbell. Get ready for those flutter hips. Here we go. Going in five seconds. And go. you guys found that effective how are you doing are you doing good yeah awesome okay so while you guys have something to drink get your heart rate back down for the next couple of minutes I shall explain to you what we're gonna do okay so conditioning we're gonna be doing six different movements you're gonna perform each movement for one minute and then you're going to get a 30 second rest in between. Okay. So seeing if I have everybody here, I think we're still good. Okay. So the first movement is going to be push ups. Okay. So some of these movements are more strength based and some of them are more endurance based. And that's what we want a little bit of both. Okay. So for your push ups, you're going for max reps in a minute and you can do any alternative that you want. Go from your toes, you can go from your knees, you can go from a bench or a box, a couch, whatever you can do to sustain for a minute. And if you care about scores, you're gonna add up your number, okay? And keep that in your head or write it down, okay? After that one minute, we're gonna take a 30 second rest. We're gonna go into the next movement, which is gonna be a step up, okay? So we're gonna do either alternating each leg for a minute or I can let you know when 30 seconds is up and you can just switch between each leg. I'm gonna use my bench to do my step up onto, so it's just gonna be up. I'm gonna do all on one leg for 30 seconds and then I'm gonna switch legs and do the other one, but you guys can step up and down alternating, it's up to you, okay? So one minute of that, 30 second rest. Okay, next movement is a sit up. Okay, so if you have an ab mat, you're gonna do ab mat sit-ups for one minute. If you don't have an ab mat, you're gonna do some alternative crunch of choice, okay? Anything you, anything your little heart desires, okay? I'm just gonna do, I don't have an ab mat, but I'm gonna use a yoga mat under the small of my back and just do ab mat sit-ups with that, okay? So that's kind of like a bit of recovery in a sense. Then we're gonna go 30 second break. Fourth movement is burpees. Gotta have the burpees, so one minute sustained, okay? So you're not going crazy fast, you're just doing at a pace that you can sustain for a minute. 30 second rest, okay? Two more movements to go. So we've got our Superman flutter, which is hard. Okay, so what you're gonna do, make sure you guys can see me, you're gonna be coming down onto your tummy, okay? And I'll, I'll give you a few options for this. So on your tummy, you're gonna go into that Superman position, which is this, keeping your neck neutral, everything's tight, but then you're gonna add in this little flutter kick, okay? Just, you know, for extra fun. 
You're going to hold that for a minute. If you need to take a break, just put your legs and your hands down for five seconds and then back up again. Okay, and then the very last movement that we're going to do for a minute is our good old friend, the air squat. Okay, so for one minute straight, no weight required. But if you want to add a weight, you can. Okay, so one minute on, 30 seconds off, six movements, and we're going to do that two times. So it's going to take us, it's going to take us 12, 18 minutes, I think, total, but 12 minutes of work. Okay, so we're a little bit over an hour, but not bad considering it's me. Okay, so make sure you've got everything you need. We're going to start with our push ups. So one minute of work, 30 seconds of rest. Oh, yes, and in between those two rounds, I'll give you a little bit longer of a rest. That's something to look forward to. Okay. Everyone good? Get it done. Last bit of your workout today. Starting with our one minute of push ups in five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Good job. Find that comfortable pace. Everything under tension, or it should be tight. Good work. We're halfway, we've got 30 more seconds. Go, go, go. 20 more seconds. Almost there. Woo! Ten seconds. Three, two, one, and break. Okay, our next movement after this little break is our step up. So remember, you can alternate each leg, or we can do 30 seconds on one side, 30 on the other. We're going in 10 seconds for one minute. All right, three, two, one, and go. I'll let you know when 30 seconds is up. If you're staying on that one side, otherwise, keep going. Get your body into it. Those arms, be explosive if you want. Switch sides if you're switching. Good work. 15 seconds. Seconds. Oh 
Almost there. Five seconds. And break. So good. Now is our friend the burpee for one minute. And then we've got our flutter, kick, supermans, and our air squats. Okay, so remember, not crazy fast unless you're feeling amazing right now, which maybe you are. All right, let's do this and go. Keep going. Thirty more seconds. Hold there. Fifteen seconds. Here we go, almost. Five seconds, one more rep. And take a break. Okay, you're gonna go onto your tummy and you're gonna get into your Superman position. Okay, we're gonna add in that little flutter kick. It should burn extra since we just did all that glute work. We're gonna go in 10 seconds. We're almost at our first round, guys. Three, two, one. Into position. Next, you stay neutral. Squeeze your butt. Little kicks with your feet. Point your toes. Everything is tight. Go, go, go. Don't stop. Good job. Squeeze in. You're halfway, guys. Keep going, keep going. Remember, if you need to tap down or nothing, that's okay. Get in there. 15 more seconds. Go, go, go. Everything's tight. Five, four, three, two, one. And break. Okay. Going into the last minute of this first round, and then you're going to have a minute break. We're just doing regular air squats. So if you want to add weight, be my guest. Okay. Now I get to see your faces again. Everyone's still with me, that's good. All right guys, going in five seconds, one minute straight hair sports. Go. Okay, keep in mind, you gotta break after this, so if you have it in you to pick up that piece, go for it. Good job. Squeeze that butt at the top. We're at halfway mark. One more second. Take up that pink. Let's go. Don't stop. Keep going. Ten seconds. Go, go, go. Three, two, one, and break. Okay, so one minute rest, and then we're gonna go back to the top for our last round, for our last six minutes of hard work today. Okay, so we're gonna go back 
into those push-ups. 30 seconds. Enjoy this, catch your breath. We're going in 20 seconds. Okay. Get yourself ready. Here we go. Five seconds, one minute of push-ups. into our sit-ups. Tony gave all the ad mats away and told me that a yoga mat would work just as well. And for reference, it doesn't. It feels like a lump of steel. Here we go. One minute. Remember what you got in that last minute, trying to sustain that this time around. So 
going in 10 seconds. You guys have three more minutes of work left in today's workout. Okay, going in five, three, two, one, and go. Focus. We're halfway. Twenty more seconds. Ten seconds. Everybody, you are unmuted. Yay, thanks, Jackie. Good job. How's everyone feeling? Tired. Tired, tongue out. Tired? But good. Ben, how are you? You good? Did everyone, Sarah, good to follow along? Worked well for everyone? It was great. Okay. I'm good. It's a, Proud of you it's guys. Hard. Hi, Shamim. So <laughs> okay, so uh, again, any feedback or challenges, just let us know through Facebook or send us a text. Um, 
And uh, you guys are amazing. Thanks for making me work out so much. <laughs> Thanks, Jacqueline. Enjoy your day. Bye. 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 Thank you.